Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel. I'm Stephanie. This is my health and wellness and sometimes tea channel. And today we have a tea unboxing. So uh, I got a box from Murchie's Tea that I've been waiting for. And Murchie's is a traditional tea company. Um, it's in my area on the west coast of Canada. Um, and they've been going for at least a hundred years. So they have very traditional blends, but they also do some really interesting things as well. And lately I have been really obsessed. Like I've gotten rid of all my other black teas, all my other kind of blends, and I'm just drinking a ton of Murchie's tea. So I had to order more and I wanted to tell you what I ordered. So, uh, the first one is Baker Street. Uh, my husband and I drink this when we are watching Sherlock Holmes as well as any other murder mystery, um, Shetland, you know, Vera, anything. A murder mystery and Baker Street goes really well together. This is a green black blend. Um, the flavor notes are smoke and gunpowder, lingering scents of exotic jasmine and bergamot. It's elementary. And this is really, it's, it's smoky, uh, but not in that kind of like obnoxious, someone smoking a cigar kind of way. It's just lightly sort of like, um, you're, you're in a manly kind of library, uh, you know, and he's wearing his smoking jacket and, um, and trying to solve your murder. So Baker Street, I recommend it. Uh, another one. Okay. This, excuse me. This one, I had to get the giant box because they were out of the 50 tea bags. So I had to get the 100 tea bag box, but that's okay. This one is called Number 10 Blend. And um, it is, I believe, named after 10 Downing Street. Um, and this, the flavor notes say it's smooth and lightly aromatic. This award-winning blend has been a favorite for over 100 years. So they've been blending the same blend for over 100 years. Um, and this is a favorite of, uh, Meg Tilly, um, who you may know from being a famous actress and then, uh, becoming a very successful novelist. I'm actually gonna, um, she has a really great tea channel. She lives, um, in the same kind of region that I do and she does a tea channel. Um, and she... <laughs> She likes number 10 blend. She actually has a couple of blends. I think in this video, I'm going to link to in the notes. I think she tells you a, um, a coupon code, her coupon code. So I'm going to make you work for it by watching her tea channel. It's really fun. Okay. So I'm going to link to that down below, but number 10 blend is a little bit, I'd say between these two. So it's not as smoky. It's got that little bit more like green jasmine element but it's still a black tea if that makes sense it's like if you were on the orient express drinking a black tea and there's just the general ambiance of um some jasmine floating around this is what i would drink okay um this oh i'm so excited about this okay so i said i worked did I say I worked there? No, okay, I don't think I did. Um, I meant to say that when I was 16 years old, I worked at the flagship store of Murchies, um, which is part of why I know them so well, and didn't appreciate it. It was completely wasted on me, um, and now I wish I could go back and live those days again, and um, it was a lot of fun. You, you really got to learn a lot about the teas and the coffees, um, but you would of course get tea on your break and you could have whatever kind you liked. And I always used to pick their black currant blend, which is a black tea. It's a rich black tea enhanced with the pure essence of black currant. Um, and I've just been really into fruity teas lately. Uh, and this has nostalgia for me, but also this one is a decaf. And I've been wanting to drink some black tea at night and I've been doing so at the detriment of my sleep. Um, I should be having a sleepy time tea, but I want like that nice rich black tea. So I got black currant to be my bedtime tea and we're going to smell this one because I haven't had it in, you know, 20 years or so. All right. And it's got, it's got, we're making noise. Hang on. We're making noise and we're going to use my teeth. Don't tell my kids I just did that. <laughs> you do it too. You do it too. Don't tell me you don't. All right. 
oh wow it's just and it's yes it's it's you know it's flavoring but it's I don't know man they do it right they just do it right you have got to you've got to try this company especially if you're in Canada you know they ship everywhere uh, but they just do it right and there's a reason that they've been in business for a hundred years I'm freaking out over this okay so I got 50 of those so now I'm at I'm already at 200 tea bags so I've got enough tea for the entire year but then they had this blend and I'm actually gonna do a tasting I brewed some up we're gonna taste it but they occasionally do some seasonal blends so this is a fall tea and the the notes are invoking the atmosphere of a Victorian sitting room perfumed with rose lush fruit and an alluring note of smoke and I love smoky teas so I was like okay I'm gonna like this and the title of it is called parlor room blend okay um, and I just I had to use a fancy teacup for this one <laughs> because I was like I this can't go in my regular tea this has to be like a China teacup situation so I opened it earlier and smelled it and it's weird um, not bad weird but just like nothing I've ever smelled before so scent notes I mean it's I mean you get the rose okay it's like okay it is like 8 p.m. in the middle of the summer and I'm at uh, a friend's garden party you know the ladies they're standing next to the rose bush in their in their like dresses and around the corner there's a group of people smoking no there's a campfire no <laughs> there's other kinds of smoke going on no there's smoke but I'm smelling the roses uh, don't get too much of the fruit but just kind of a summery vibe and then I brewed it up and it was like it was almost like it knew it was being brewed I'm about to sound totally insane but I've never seen tea sort of activate with the water in this way <laughs> like I, I don't want to say it fizzed but it sort of um, toiled and troubled a little bit when I was brewing it so um, now that it's been brewed it's not as smoky definitely still rosy I mean with with an undertone of black tea okay hmm please appreciate my cup I had Four deer cross in front of my car this morning they were very safe I was very safe they were fine and it was just that time of year so cheers to them I don't know what to say about this tea I like this tea okay when would I drink this tea not during my murder mysteries I would you know I am drinking this tea when I'm watching Downton Abbey that's when I'm drinking this tea when I'm going into a parlor room um, now would I recommend it to somebody who likes modern teas I would because and by that I mean this is I don't know if you could give this to your grandmother without her complaining <laughs> she'd be like what is this um, how do I describe this god it's weird it's got some little under notes of like old post office <laughs> you guys are never gonna listen to a tea review from me again go out go go my dog needs to go out okay I'm getting some old post office and like stamps but like rubber stamps right okay I'm getting rose but it's not like it's not a bouquet of roses it is garden rose it's like you're outside I'm not getting a ton of fruit actually given that I was just smelling the black currant um, yeah I I don't hate it I I need to like experience it for a bit longer so that is parlor room this was my Murchie's tea haul um, 
watch the video down below go check out Meg's channel me and Meg Tilly are representing on the internet we are going to spread the word of Murchie's tea and how great it is okay so <laughs> cheers pip pip cheerio